Hi, my name is Dan Baker. I'm here to talk to you today about something that's very serious in our community. How many people that have a driver's license have one of these? Texting and driving. I want to tell you the truth about texting and driving. We're here live in front of the emergency room. An injured patient's just come in. To tell you the truth, most drivers do not consider themselves to have the potential to harm others or themselves while operating a motor vehicle with a cell phone in hand. Folks, I've got a photo I want to show you right here. This photo right here, this is from the TxDOT, Texas Department of Transportation. Their mind's on the phone, their hand's on the wheel, but their mind's on the phone. Do they see the 18-wheeler? I don't think so. It quadruples your chances when you're texting and driving, folks, to be in a crash. We don't want that to happen. To tell you the truth, no text is worth the risk. I'm not going to candy coat it. Texting and driving is a bad idea. So let's put your phone down and drive. Let's stay alive. There are three key aspects about texting and driving that I want everybody to recognize. I'll begin with talking about what goes on in our brain when we're distracted. Then I'm going to go over statistics related to texting and driving. Lastly, I want to encourage, give some encouraging tips about what cell phone users can do to become safer drivers. So let's start with the brain. To begin with, the human brain's not wired to concentrate on two tasks at the same time. Now I've got a photo here. This is from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration here. I call this photo number two. I got that from them. Uh, nearly 6,000 people are in crashes, die a year from texting and driving, and over uh, half a million are injured. It says right here, attentive, attentive driving reduces crashes by 50 to 95 percent. She's not being attentive. Her attention's on the phone, not on the, not on the car. Put down your phone and drive. Let's stay alive, okay? I want to go over here, uh, something else in the brain. It's when the prefrontal cortex here in your brain is trying to perform two cerebral tasks at the same time, you actually slows down your reaction time. Multitasking can actually slow down your reaction time by as much as 40%. You don't want to get under the wheel and go from 100% to 40%. I have a key note I'd like to read to you here uh, in O Magazine about texting and driving in the human brain by Sarah Harrier. This states, the human brain isn't equipped to concentrate on two things simultaneously, says neuroscientist Renee Mario's PhD professor at Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt University in the psychology department. The brain scan studies Mario's found that the prefrontal cortex lights up for a longer time in people performing two mental tasks at the same time. This illustrates how brain reaction time is slowed down. So, also the latest research shows that dopamine is released when we text. What is dopamine? Dopamine is a powerful neurotransmitter in our brain that's associated when we seek pleasure or get pleasure. There was a Russian scientist named Pavlov that studied dogs. He rang a bell, fed the dogs. Then the dogs were conditioned that every time the bell rang, they knew they were going to get fed. This is what happens to folks that text and drive. Your brain starts thinking. So we need to control our phone. Put down your phone and drive. Let's stay alive. Okay? Now I want to review some statistics related to texting and driving. You're 23 times more likely to be in a car crash if you're texting and driving. Photo number three here. This is also from the Texas Department of Transportation. They're concentrating on their phone here. They're not operating looking at the bike here. Do you see the bike? I don't think so. Is your ideal of an LOL seriously injuring somebody or killing them? I don't think that's a good idea. So put down your phone and drive. Let's stay alive. Truth is, wireless devices are the number one cause of driver distraction. Number one cause right here, wireless devices. Truth, driving distracted is causes approximately one-fourth of all the car crashes in the United States at a cost of $230 billion to society. I have a key point 
I'd like to read to you out of Teen Magazine by Nicole Smith here uh, on texting and driving. She states, texting and driving can make you 23 times more likely to crash, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. A statistic that helps explain the 1.6 million crashes in the United States that according to the National Safety Council are due to texting and driving. So that's something we don't want to do. Now I have a, another photo I want to show you here. This is from the Virginia Tech Transportation Institute. They do a lot of research also about texting and driving. Keep your eyes on the road. Or their eyes, they're not on the road. 4.6 seconds is the average times a person looks away to text. At 55 miles an hour, that's the length of a football field with your eyes off the road. That's not a good idea. So lastly, I want to go over some tips, encouraging tips, to make cell phone users safer drivers. First of all, if you drive alone, put down the phone. I like that little rhyme. If you can't do that, you know, wait till you get to your destination to get your messages, get your text. And then take those. They'll all be right here on your phone waiting for you. So that's a good option. If there's more than one person in the car, let's have a designated texter. If you're driving, hand your phone to your friend. They can text. You can operate the vehicle. You'll get to your destination safely. If there's absolutely no way you can avoid texting, pull over to a safe area, not the shoulder, a parking lot, a roadside park, and take a text stop. New York State is putting in text stops all over the state and many other states are starting to institute this. Take a text stop, take care of your text, get back on the road and drive and stay alive, okay? Another option is, is you can download off the internet to your phone texting apps that will help prevent you from texting when the vehicle's moving 10 miles an hour or faster. I have a little note here by Charles Ripley in PC World. For drivers that find the urge to text to, to text too great despite these efforts, apps are available for almost all handsets. So download that app, keep you safe, keep you alive, put down your phone and drive. So in closing, I began by going over three key aspects related to texting and driving. First, the brain and being distracted. Then I went over the statistics related to texting and driving. And then last, I covered encouraging ideals that will make you a safer driver. Folks, remember, all drivers with a cell phone in hand have the potential to harm themselves or others. The truth is, no text is worth the risk. Put down your phone and drive. Stay alive. You don't want to wind up here.